the U.S. Surgeon General had a warning for all Americans about the coronavirus. Let's take a look. It's tragically fitting that we're talking at the beginning of Holy Week because this is going to be the hardest and the saddest week of most Americans' lives, quite frankly. This is going to be our Pearl Harbor moment, our 9-11 moment, only it's not going to be localized. It's going to be happening all over the country, and I want America to understand that. So some strong words, but we can all help change that outcome. So here is what the Assistant Secretary for Health and Human Services said on the Today Show. Take a look. You really need to keep your physical contact with others and with surfaces to the minimal possible. That does not mean go without medications. If you need to go to the pharmacy to get your medications, if you need to get groceries, do it. But go, don't go every day to the grocery store like, uh, like yeah. many people do. Do it uh, as infrequently as possible. So, for instance, I was listening to a Buddhist um, teacher, obviously, yesterday, cool tor story, Tori, and she said, um, before you go to the grocery store, make a list of what you absolutely need. It's a good time to sort of tighten everything down. Steph, are you making changes about going out, about doing anything? I know you're staying in, but have you even further quarantined yeah. yourself? So um, a few weeks ago, um, when obviously we were finding out about the coronavirus and when everyone was panic mass bulk buying, um, I did have to really like think about, okay, am I, how much am I going to buy because I do live on my own mm. and um, I do have autoimmune disease and asthma. And so I thought, right, I would rather buy enough that I know is going to last me so I don't have to keep making trips mm -hmm. to the store. Another thing that I do, which I know that you do too, Tori, um, is that... I order a lot of my food actually from HelloFresh. It comes sealed once a week. It's a home delivery, so I don't actually have to go to the store. So for me, I think that's made me feel a lot more confident and, and know that I'm doing more of my bit because I'm not actually going out at all that much. So like I don't I don't need to keep going back to the store, but that's what something something that everyone needs to remember. You know, make the use of whatever you have at home, go through all your supplies before you go because it really is serious and you do need to be staying home right now. Yeah, that's true. Al do you and your stash stay home as much as possible? Uh, we do, Tori, and I'll tell you this, uh, before your Buddhist teacher told you to have a plan before you go to the grocery <laughs> store, you know who said that? Who? I did. <laughs> I said that a couple weeks ago. You did. Having a strategy when you go out, it honestly does, and I think this is something that will, because remember guys, we will get through this, but we can take some lessons from this. Yeah. I really do think that being more efficient, first of all, will save you some money. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you're not spending as much money because you're not kind of out. Mm. Uh, you, yes, you spend money on your bills and groceries but you also spend money just when you're out on a Saturday afternoon and you're like oh I'm gonna get some ice cream yeah. and oh let's stop in here and you end up kind of frittering your money away so I think when you do have a plan when you leave the house you go out you say I'm gonna buy a shirt and a yeah. belt if you buy that and come right back home you'll save money and I think it's really important because you know everybody's belts a little tighter it's true that's it's a great point and, and know that you got to save stuff for other people